Howdy, 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 my gorgeous Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for March 2022, as well as Miss Tulip. She's going to be helping out as well, honey. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Aquarius, let me know in the comments below, as well as be sure to give me a like and subscribe as well if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe as well. Be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign uh, as well, Aquarius, and let's just get right into your tarot reading here today, darling. All right, let's see what's up. What is the tea, darling? All right. Y'all are holding yourself back in some way here, all right? We already starting out this reading with calling you out, Aquarius, all right? Y'all are holding yourselves back. I always say the Eight of Swords is a card of like what you see in the mirror isn't reality here, all right? So y'all might be going through some imposter syndrome here. Y'all are letting your own internal thoughts keeping you from living out your greatest life or just pursuing whatever desire that you have here something on going on internally that is just overall holding you back or you're using it as a uh reason i'm gonna say excuse aquarius all right i gotta be blunt right because i feel like i can give it to you good like that all right aquarius y'all are using some type of excuse with yourself to just hold yourself back because you whatever your reasoning is right we don't need to deep dive it in like some dr phil episode honey all right cherry energy coming in here as well as the page of pentacles stepping forward here aquarius and then the back of the deck is the ace of swords so here's the reality uh aquarius i'm glad i'm being just very brutally honest this is going to be i mean all my readings are very brutally honest aquarius obviously but you know this is going to be just a reading for those that really want to just know how to elevate their life darling not just hear some fluffy good things right so for you guys y'all have such a strong potential aquarius towards and i apologize if i called you gemini honey I don't I don't know why I have it in my head is sitting that I call John Gemini, but I gotta just say it. But Aquarius, y'all have this strong idea, this strong potential in something that you are wanting to pursue, right? Whether this is a project, a creative project here. I would say creative project for most of you, Aquarius, is just due to this Ace of Swords energy. The Ace of Swords just represents creative ideas. That's why it's noticed on the her uh the stairs to her brain, honey, right? Y'all have this really powerful idea about to go taking action with something, taking initiative, taking the initiative in some way here that would really give you a lot of fast forward momentum in your life. All right. Some of you uh, Aquariuses, you might be thinking about trying to make more time for i mean tiktok honey or some youtube darling all right making more time to do something investing into something kind of might you might be seeing it as like a little bit of a risk initially aquarius but for whatever the case is, you're telling yourself that you can't handle it, right? You're telling yourself that you're like, it's just like a far-fetched dream, right? You're telling like whatever your narrative is, right? You are downplaying this idea that you have here. All right, Aquarius, I'm going to really call you guys out because I know just throughout the years, darling, I've been reading Aquariuses for a couple of years now, right? Y'all are my zodiac sign that suffers the most from imposter syndrome because Aquarians are, I always say, is like that mad scientist energy. You guys have such a beautiful mind such a creative mind Aquarius and because like you guys are always running like a million miles a minute you have all these wonderful ideas but it's like I don't know if you guys just dream really big or if it's just because of your artistic brain that you're just used to just be like oh this is just like my mind being whatever but the thing about it is Aquarius like if you were to entertain these ideas page of pentacles this is a card of a new uh pathway opening up for you something that you could invest your energy into right a new stream of re revenue for going to take the page of pentacles in the literal sense here pages represents new energies i don't know why i'm being so distracted by miss tulip right now bathing all right <laughs> um so let's continue on here what i want to just be telling you i'm not going to sit down on it too much longer aquarius just stop to get out of this imposter syndrome right easier said than done right it's very much so like me going it's like oh aquarius you're depressed honey just stop i know it's i know it's harder than that but work work on it aquarius all right work on it because you guys are you guys are the one you are the one that is stopping yourself from claiming the life that you know you deserve internally if you're willing to admit it to yourself right maybe you don't feel like you deserve it darling but if you feel, don't tell me if you feel like you don't deserve it, aquarius in the comments below because i'll fight you honey i'm playing but yeah give yourself more credit aquarius because you guys have just like such a beautiful mind that I feel like for a lot of you Aquariuses, because Aquariuses are the most understood uh, zodiac sign in terms of like what's going on up here, like everyone else always thinks just like, oh, Aquariuses are just weird. Like they have, they're in their own la la land, but no Aquarius, like there's something, there's something there. All right. You have the moon energy coming in for you as well as the five of wands stepping forward here. 
and then we got the ten of swords now this card chart is is in the reverse for you that ten of swords here um aquarius i want to suggest to you Okay, Miss Tulip. I don't know if y'all can hear the bells right now, but y'all, I want to be suggesting to my Aquariuses to keep that block button strong. I see for some of y'all, someone come, trying to come back in from the past year, that moon energy with that five of wands. Five of wands is my least favorite card in the deck because this is a card of just conflict and arguments with people here. Um, Ten of swords. This is like a past situation where it's just like the damage is already done, darling, right? There's already like pain in that situation here and it's like someone's trying to come back in from someone that you close that door on i feel to cut away at this drama and i feel like they're trying to make an, a reappearance here in your life aquarius and so i ain't gonna try to tell you what to do darling right i'm just you know you live your life darling but you know i wouldn't be surprised if later on aquarius if i do a reading for you in the future and i'm just like oh someone got back in with their ex honey right because this is what that's y'all gave an ex like a, an 11th chance darling right so just be prepared for that as um all right something coming in that was at one point painful to you making its reappearance for what are the reason is what is that reason actually eight of cups yeah i mean y'all walked away from the situation but the other the situation is it's like you walked away from it you emotionally disconnected from the situation but the other energy isn't over you right for some of you guys you quit a job and you're going to be answering your phone one day it's like who is this number and you're just like hello and then you hear back from this job that was underpaying you or that wasn't treating you right or it's just like you hated your co-workers because they were bitches <laughs> and they're just like oh can you come back aquarius we'll give you a raise we promise we'll give you your pizza like what like it's very much so that energy where they're just like hey aquarius like hey you still thinking about us like you moved on but they haven't moved on here, Aquarius, all right? And so again, y'all are all adults here, presumably here, honey. And so I ain't gonna tell you what you should be doing. Just be anticipating something that you walked away from because it wasn't fulfilling to you, right? The Eight of Cups is just like, eh. like it just wasn't giving what it needs to be giving, all right? you have this magician energy coming in this is what i always identify you guys as i know the magician isn't associated with aquarian energy i don't believe so anyways but um magician energy is what i associate you guys with because it's like you guys have such a beautiful mind <laughs> i need to stop gassing y'all up of course before y'all get an even bigger head but i just love aquariuses um y'all are like y'all have just such powerful potential but the thing about the magician is that while the, yes the magician is the one that manifests the reality that they want to see in this world the magician also is very real like in an esoteric sense like your thoughts or energy where your mindset is at is how potent your spell work and, and endeavors and manifestation ability is going to be here all right and so for you guys right now aquarius you guys really need to honor this magician that you are all right the magician isn't afraid of owning their ego where they're just like yeah i know i i know i'm the shit honey all right you know you're all that and a bag of biscuits honey all right and so it's okay to celebrate yourself in that way some of you aquarius is you're just so used to playing yourself down and um Maybe it's because of your family, what have you, where everyone's just like, oh, Curtis, who do you think you are? Or you always were just in social situations or situations where you always had to play small. You always had to dim your light. And so you've carried that over with just your life in general, Aquarius. And I'm here to call you out. It's like, hey, here's your permission. If you needed permission, Aquarius, to own yourself more, to have more of an ego, puff out your chest, darling, and be like, I am Aquarius. Hear me what do Aquarius do hear me <laughs> hear me roar honey all right so just celebrate you like honor you the potential that you have it's okay all right if anyone's trying to make you feel bad about it then that just show, shows that they don't shouldn't be part of your life all right Aquarius because you are you all have the strong capability of bringing something into uh, fruition here because this magician energy is under your page of pentacles here king of pentacles in the back uh, not in the back of the deck king of pentacles coming forward here y'all have the potential in really building something solid a solid foundation with something but for whatever the case is y'all are afraid of really tapping into this magician energy and so i'm going to be giving y'all some homework this week uh aquarius all right i'm going to be giving y'all some homework i want you guys to do some research on the uh, the storyline of the magician um because that's really y'all's energy this week this is what i want you guys to be tapping into the more you tap into this magician energy which is really just like owning your power and just knowing that you are the shit right the better off you will be the stronger your foundation will be here all right back of the deck energy is the knight of pentacles aquarius all right and so 
yes at, once you get into this place it's going to be just a building blocks after building blocks of just building whatever it is as that king of pentacles i always say the king of pentacles is the one that builds rome right and so for you guys uh aquarius now with this knight of pentacles most of the time i don't read it in this way but i feel like a lot of you guys are releasing some baggage here releasing some baggage and that might be associated with like healing those um past traumas healing that you know really just doing shadow work right let's you know going back to that same message beforehand where i was telling you aquarius where it's like maybe you're just so used to playing yourself small because of the small-minded people the weak-minded people that you always surrounded yourself with that always challenged you made you not own your light made you put shame towards you to owning your light and celebrating yourself here uh, Aquarius I feel like that might be providing some closure here for you guys your you know tens do represents closure to cycles here some of you guys might just be healing from those past wounds that you've carried with you into adulthood right I guess I probably should stop assuming we're all adults here but I'm assuming most of us are all <laughs> adults all right you have the full moon in Virgo it makes so much sense for you Aquarius all right you know type in the comments right now right now Aquarius let me know how let me know how spot I am with spot on I am with you honey because this literally encapsulates the message i've just been trying to force into y'all right now this entire reading aquarius so where you are good enough right Ugh, come on now aquarius don't leave me hanging here honey all right you don't need to you don't need to give me a bigger ego honey this wig is giving me a big enough of a head right but just acknowledge the fact where it's like it's not by sheer coincidence that intuitively what i got is you got the exact same to oracle card for that like what are the chances you have the full moon in sagittarius looking at the bigger picture here and then what else is here aquarius we have the new moon in eclipse expecting a powerful change aquarius don't tell any of the other zodiac signs because i didn't give three moon oracle card or four moon oracle cards to any other sign but i'm gonna give i guess i'm gonna give you five honey don't definitely don't be telling any other zodiac sign honey because they might come after me darling but i'm gonna spoil y'all because i just feel called to doing so um fixed moon holding your vision as well as your commitment is being tested first quarter moon here all right so this is your test aquarius all right and it's really important for you to be aware about this test because it's at this point in time where you we're going to have the honest conversation with you aquarius where it's just like all right do you really want whatever it is that you're desiring here do you really want to have a platform do you really want success do you really want to have your own business what have you here because this is it's at this point in time you're the universe is sitting here aquarius where it's just like all right you know this is your one chance to darling if you don't own up if you don't pass this test darling if you truly don't want this um i feel like this is just like more of a, like a once in a lifetime type of thing for you here this is your the, of any time right now aquarius this is the best time for you to really attack that imposter syndrome and be like no i am deserving of good things i am deserving of this this is the week for you aquarius just to really affirm to yourself of everything that you deserve and everything that is uh, divinely sent for you all right this is the time for you to come off as selfish this is the time for you to come off as being full of yourself because really aquarius like you because of like the image that you have of yourself and just like what's going on internally your voice that keeps playing yourself down that eight of swords like it's really been such a long storyline for you guys where you guys have like y'all could have y'all have not lived up to your highest potential not to say anything bad about where you guys y'all are at currently but y'all could like be so much further along in your life if you were just willing to give yourself permission to be your most authentic self and to really owning your power owning your essence here aquarius all right so i'm gonna be get off my pedestal now get off my soapbox hopefully this reading gave you some clarity aquarius i love you all so much remember that all right darling um and so do what you need to do to celebrate yourself all right honey so this is the reading that i have for you aquarius hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you darling be sure to let me know in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe remember aquarius if you want to book a private personal reading with me my website's linked down below darling simply velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok as well as instagram darling both being simply velka and aquarius hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future all right darling i love you so much aquarius bye darling